Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. So everybody, let's go, check out my video, if you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well, so you never miss out on another... I can't even talk. Another delicious bite. Another haul video. Another recipe video. Another cook with me. Another unboxing. Unboxing. Hmm. Yes, I have an unboxing today, as the title clearly says, and I'm excited about it. So, but first, let's get into this. I have a question. Do you guys, has anybody out there ever used black salt? And if you do, when you got it, was it black? Because I've seen Tab, Tabitha Brown use black salt and she uses it in Just Egg. And I said that I wanted to try the Just Egg. I bought the Just Egg, but I was waiting on my black salt from Amazon. I ordered it and it came. What color is this salt? It says black salt powder. So this is black but pink salt yeah it's not black so I don't know what the deal is but it I'm gonna use it it's salt I mean it's fine but I want black salt this is not black salt and I've talked to other people that said they have black salt and it's black so I guess I get on there and reorder I swear I thought it was black when I was ordering it but it I don't know I don't know so I haven't done my just egg yet because I really want the right salt. I, I want my first experience with the Just Egg to be the best that it can be, knowing that I've done everything I'm supposed to do to enhance the Just Egg. So, mm, we're going to hold off on that. I have a package from Amazon. I think I know what it is, but it's crazy to me because I just ordered this yesterday. I swear I just ordered this yesterday. And it's already here. And I didn't do overnight. Amazon is usually two days. But I ain't complaining. Whatever. Yep. It's my B-Love sauce. I was down to my last little bit of the sauce mix that my um, sis Teresa got for me. She, I bought some. And then I bought one packet. And not long after I bought one packet, she bought me a packet and sent it to me as a gift. And I was so, so glad to receive it. And um, now I ordered another one because I'm down to my last little bit, my last little couple tablespoons. But those two sauce packets lasted me for almost a year because I don't do a whole lot of big boils. And when I do, I just make a little bit at a time for myself. So it lasts me a while. So I'm excited to have that. But what I'm most excited about today is my box came from black billy if you guys have not checked out his channel please do so gotta cover up all my information all of his information you can clearly see that the postal service done beat the box up but it's here <laughs> oh my gosh he is so sweet Let's see what's in the box. You guys, I'm going to take this down so I can see what I'm doing. Yes, I'm in my comfy cozy. It's Saturday and I ain't going nowhere close. This is what you look like when you plan on staying in the house. <laughs> I may go to the store um, to um, Home Goods, but that's it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he sent me way more than I ordered. That is so very sweet. Oh wow, okay. I'm excited. I am excited. Okay, so this is Gladiator Granola. It is homemade and it is vegan and it is refined sugar free. So the white sugar that we have, that we put in everything, this does not have that in it. It's sweetened naturally by um, like 
dates or um, fig or whatever fruit that is really sweet, that is what it is sweetened with. And he says, thank you for your purchase, Miss D. I am so thankful for you to have thankful for you to have purchased some of my vegan refined sugar free homemade granola. He says, for you I have two pumpkin spice and one everything and its mama and one chocolate peanut butter banana. Enjoy, Tevin. He is so professional. I love this. You guys hit him up on Instagram under Black Billy. If you want to try his Gladiator Granola, please do that. They are $5 a bag. I ordered two bags, and he sent me two extra ones to try. So I am so excited about that. This one says chocolate peanut butter banana. This one is the pumpkin spice, and I have two of those. You know pumpkin spice is my jam, and so I, I had to have it. And then this one is the everything and its mama. How professional and how sweet is that? So we're just gonna go right down the right down the, the middle, right down the line. So let's try, let's put them down so you can see what I'm doing here. Let's try the everything and its mama. Let's try that one first. What I do with my scissors? What I do with my scissors? Yeah, I don't know why I just went country just now, y'all. Don't know. All right. And they are in resillable Ziploc bags. You guys, I am a smell person. I watched this video. I, I went on his live and I watched him make this. <sighs> Smells like cinnamon, like cranberries. Mm. Let's show you what it looks like. Just, just plain granola. I don't want to eat a whole bunch of one because I want to try them all. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, there's coconut in here. Almonds, cranberries. Mmm. Mmm. And it's not super sweet, you guys. Mm. It's not super sweet at all. But it's sweet, if that makes sense. Mm. Okay. All right. You can taste the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. That should be good. And some yogurt. Okay. All right, Sam. Mm -mm. All right. I have to taste the next one. We're going to seal this bag up. I love the coconut. Kind of reminds me of. An Almond Joy with no chocolate. That's what it reminds me of. Mm. Okay. I'm saving my pumpkin spice for last. So this is going to be the chocolate peanut butter banana. Let me get this one chewed up. Hmm. All right, then. Hold on. I clear my palate. Just my coffee, y'all. Oh, wow. You can really smell the banana. 
Mm. They all pretty much look the same. All right. See the peanuts in it. If you have nut allergies, this is not going to be for you. But if you don't, I love that it's not super, super sweet. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm looking to see what all's up in here. I, it tastes like peanut butter and bananas. Between these two, the peanut butter banana, the chocolate peanut butter banana, and the um, the um, everything, and his mama, everything in his mama is winning. This one's good. This one's better. Mm hmm. But remember, they're vegan, and they don't have refined sugar. That's a plus. I'm excited about my pumpkin spice. Y'all know I'm a pumpkin spice fanatic. If you watch me for a while, you already know. And this one I won't need to open. It's the same thing. It's pumpkin spice. Smell that cinnamon. Let me clear my palate. Mm. And it's good with coffee. This is gonna, this is a nice snack. That's what it looked like. Is that a blueberry? No. Ooh. But that might be a good one to do. Blueberry. I knew pumpkin spice was going to be the one. Because I love pumpkin spice. This is my fave. I love the warm cinnamon flavor that I'm getting. It just screams fall. Mm-hmm. This is my favorite. So, you guys, hit him up on Instagram under Black Billy. Try out his Gladiator Granola. Subscribe for the vibe, as he would say, to his channel. YouTube channel, Black Billy, as well. He is a young entrepreneur trying to get his, you know, channel up in numbers. And he's a young entrepreneur trying to sell his product and just, you know, have him some extra coin. And, you know, build up that generational wealth we are always talking about. And just, you know, he's a good, he's a good guy. He's a really good guy. Just trying to do his thing, make his own money, have his business, and stay out of trouble. And that's what you want. You know, he's doing something with himself. So, Gladiator Granola, vegan, no refined sugar. Pumpkin spice is my favorite. Let me run over the flavors again. Chocolate, peanut butter, banana, everything, and it's mama. And pumpkin spice is what I have. $5 per bag. I purchased two. He sent me... Um, two extra ones to try I give him a thumbs up and I say go see him go see him Instagram Black Billy hit him up mm. sorry I'm bumping the camera I have to have some more of that so anyway that was it for my unboxing 
But I also wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. Because, you know, I craft. And I swear, I'm done crafting witch hats and scarecrow hats, I, I think. I've given three of them away so far. No, four. One, two, three. I've given four away so far. I gave away a scarecrow hat, and I've given away three witch hats. But these are my, I got one more to give away. These are my stay at home. And I don't know if I've shown you my scarecrow hat or you've seen it in the background in my kitchen. But this is what I want to show you. This is my scarecrow hat that I made. It's my craft project. It's got the burlap wrapped around the witch's hat, actually. And then I use raffia, I use deco mesh, and I use fall ribbon with the pumpkins on it. Put in some fall flowers and some leaves. Put the little scarecrow out to the side and a bow and a flower up top. So this is the one that hangs in my kitchen. This is the one that I kept for myself. I made another one and I sent it out. This is... my most recent witch's hat. I made this one last night. There's the feet. Come on down. There she is. I made this one last night for a friend at work who was having a really rough day on Friday. And I want to take it to her on Monday just to, you know, brighten her up a little bit. It's got the spider hanging from it. It's got a little bat hidden in there. And there's the top of it, just got the little raffia, or not raffia, this is deco mesh and deco mesh tubing. So this one is a giveaway. This one I'm not going to keep. I'm giving it away to one of my friends at work. She just was having a, a rough day. And I don't know, she's a good person. And I, I just like to do that for people. Oh, I forgot that one has an eyeball on it and everything. This one... I've been making them so much for everybody else. I haven't even made one for myself. My favorite color is purple. So this one is mine. This one will go up on my door in October. Right now I have my fall wreath that I made on my door. But this one is mine. I made one for myself. I kept making them for everybody else and I hadn't made my own. So this one I made for me. And it's got the little spider hanging as well. And it's got the eyeball. And it's got um, little bats on this ribbon. And there actually is a little bat on the hat that's not easy to see. But there's a bat right there. But this one's mine. And this one will go on my door. So that's what I've been up to. This one I made this morning. It takes me about maybe an hour, hour and a half to make these. I just turn on... YouTube videos, I catch up on my videos of all of you guys, and um, I just craft. And that's what kind of weekend it is going to be. It's just going to be a crafting, relaxing, not doing too much because I don't have to kind of weekend. So, yeah, that was it. That's all I came on for, to do my unboxing of my Gladiator Granola um, and to show you what I've been doing over the weekend so far, just doing some home crafting and just enjoying my time here at home. And the good word of the day, can't leave you without the good word, does not come from one of my books. The good word today comes from my coffee mug, which says, choose to be grateful. Okay? It's a choice. You can sit around and grumble and, and be ungrateful and you know, compare yourself to what other people have and what you don't have and how come they got it and you don't and when is your time going to come. Things like that. Just be ungrateful, but choose. It's a choice. Choose to be grateful because it could be so much worse. You got a roof over your head. You got food in your stomach. You got a job. You got a car to drive. You got clothes on your back. Any of those things. Choose to be grateful because there's so many people who don't have that. So it's a choice. It's a choice that I make every day. I'm grateful for everything, every single day. So that was my quick impromptu video. You guys, I am going to get off of here because 
I really do want to go to the home store. So I'm going to have to get out of these like house clothes that I'm in, you know, my little thing I got going on and do something with my head. And um, I'm going to the home store. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything or not. I don't know if I'm going to vlog it and take you guys along with me. I may, I may not. It depends. Every time I go in there, it's a zoo. Um, and it's a whole situation. So we'll see. But anyway, if I get anything, I'll show you what I got. And if I decide to vlog, then you'll see the vlog. But I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share me out, share me out, share me out, guys. Tell all your friends and family about these delicious bites so that maybe they can stop by and have a delicious bite, some crafting, a haul, a vlog, a recipe, an unboxing, any and all of that right here. One Stop Shop channel so that they can share this stuff with me as well as always. I believe you're capable of amazing things. You just have to believe it too. Oh, I forgot. And a challenge or two. <laughs> as always, I believe you're capable of amazing things. Just believe it too. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, please be safe, and be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. I will see you tomorrow in another video. Oh, we're still here. Bye-bye.